We are back. I am so excited to be back in my theme park, guys. We have made some crazy progress over the last couple videos. And if you've missed all the other videos, let me explain what we've built. This green roller coaster right here is the tallest, craziest, loopiest roller coaster I've ever seen. One, two, three, four, five, six loops in a row. That red roller coaster in the background that you see right there is the world's fastest roller coaster. It's literally just hundreds of booster tracks and you get up to like a thousand miles per hour. That right there is what I've been working on in my amusement park. And right now we have 115 people in my amusement park having a good old time. But my goal is to have 200, 300 people in my amusement park. So we need to build more attractions, which is exactly what we're doing today. I think we're gonna build a roller coaster today that's not so intense because I feel like some people come to this amusement park and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I wanna be on a roller coaster that's gonna make me throw up and go a thousand miles per hour. Now, with that being said, we are going to be building a wooden roller coaster. I'm actually kind of excited considering I have not built a wooden roller coaster yet. And a lot of theme parks have wooden roller coasters. So I'm kind of hyped. Like I said, we're not gonna do anything super crazy with this roller coaster. It's going to be like a light ride, just a light, light, light little ride. Actually here, let me go, let me go back. Let me remove most of these pieces. Let's just start off with the up. We'll go up one and then we'll bank turn it. And then we're just gonna go all the way up. And look, look, it's a light ride guys, I promise. It's not not gonna be anything insane. Let me just go all the way to the world height limit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I can't help it but build an insane roller coaster. All right. Now we're going to drop off here. Can we even go straight down? I don't even know. We can't go straight down because it is an actual wooden roller coaster. So unfortunately, we cannot go straight down. But we can do is we're going to go around here and then we're gonna make a sharp turn here let's actually flatten it out a little bit and let's make a sharp turn look at the roller coasters how this one just goes oh my gosh look it's going straight over the water oh <laughs> okay okay maybe i should adjust it just a little bit i don't want to ruin our beach there we go this is a little bit better okay it's not ruining our beach it's costing us a lot of money to do these turn pieces but at least it is not ruining our beach and the sun is going down we are building this coaster into the night boys okay so now let's start making some exciting things <laughs> Hi, uh, sorry to interrupt the video. This is from www.speakable.com. If you guys ever need any merchandise, hats, hoodies, accessories, we even got T-Rex costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the merchandise link at the top of the description or head over to www.speakable.com for some merchandise. A lot of wooden roller coasters go up, they go down, they turn, they do this, they go through a tunnel. So let's do some of that. So let's start off with our first down and then we're gonna cut and then we're going to go straight back up and then we're gonna flatten out and then we're gonna go straight back down so this is our first set of hills and then we're going to bank turn it let's go ahead and flatten this out and we'll turn it one more time and we're just gonna go straight back around and through here there we go that is cool right there all right then we're gonna flatten this out right here and we're gonna go straight through it again check that out and then we're going to let's see if we can bank downwards and to the side we might have to go down first and then bank to the side yeah there we go all right let's go ahead and flatten this out we're gonna make a sharp turn this way and then we're gonna straighten it out and we're just gonna head this way and then a sharp bank turn going this way look at that that is so sick and then we're gonna go straight back up here i love this i love this we're gonna try to fill in and just cram this area wooden roller coasters always look like they're so crammed together and that's the feel that i'm kind of going for for this one we're gonna flatten out right here and then we are going to make another sharp turn actually we're gonna do kind of a light turn let's do kind of a light turn and then we'll flatten it out and then we'll do a sharp turn. Look at that sun coming up. Oh, buddy. And then hmm, let's go straight down here and let's make a turn. And then can we flatten out right before we hit the bottom here? Is that possible? No, we're going to go straight into the ground. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to make a turn here. We're going to straighten it out again and go through here. And is there a way that we could go straight up? Ah, uh, we're going to hit this other roller coaster right here. We might need to turn a little bit. And then can we go straight up without hitting this coaster? Oh my gosh, we're going to hit it. Oh my gosh. No, we're not. Oh, no, we are. 
We did hit it right there. Okay, then we can just bank it to the side here. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go one back. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. Look at that. And then we are just going to flatten this bad boy out and turn it right there. Straighten it out. Let's see if we got more pieces that we can do in here. Some of these are pretty cool pieces. Spiral down, wind spiral up. Like what? Like what? What is this? A chicane? Am I, am I saying that right? This piece is kind of cool. All right, we're doing like a wide spiral kind of thing. That's probably not going to work out because yeah. So we'll do one more here and then we will straighten it out and we will actually have to sharp turn it this way oh no we might have to sharp turn it right here there we go and then we're gonna work our way down a little bit more we're gonna have to turn it the opposite way because the track is right there oh my gosh guys yes this is the coaster i'm going for see how it just looks like madness that is exactly what we should be going for in a wooden coaster we just want it to look insane all right and then we're gonna drop straight down here and then we are going to make a turn turn again can we even go this way we do have room to go this way we are good all right then we're gonna straighten it out a little bit and we are going to turn and we're going guess what boys we're going back up let's get the chain lift on here we're gonna go back up over here flatten it out get rid of the chain lift go forward a little bit and then we are going to duck straight down and we might have to intertwine with this coaster a little bit flatten it out turn it this way there we go look at that and then we got a straight shot back to the beginning okay let's do some more cars station segment so we got a ton of station segments here there we go and we are done check it out that is sick this is going to be the entrance right here and then we need the exit which will be right over here oh my gosh got this coaster is insane i'm not even going to change the color because the color on it looks really good but it just looks like absolute chaos let's give it a test ride all right here we are going on a test test ride oh my gosh we are going up the chain lift this is gonna take a bit and this part is steep dude for a wooden roller coaster i'm not gonna lie i made this thing a little bit scary i went into this saying i'm not gonna make it scary and i made it terrifying oh my gosh dude just look down i don't even know what to say i, I literally don't even know what to say it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay <laughs> this is just a test ride okay we're almost to the top we're almost there we got this we can <laughs> This is a wooden roller coaster of death. All right, we've made it to the top. We are going over the top right now. Oh my gosh, we're literally at the world height limit. I actually built this thing to the world height limit. And we are going straight down here. We're going to take a curve. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is not a calm. What? Was there someone on the track? He just jumped on the coaster. This is not a calm roller coaster at all. I thought this would be a calm roller coaster, but it is not. He says hi. <laughs> How you liking the ride, buddy? It's definitely close but all right oh my gosh we didn't even need the chain lift on any of these wait this is the part that goes left and then right and then left and then dips down and oh my gosh that was insane okay i will rate that ride and i'm gonna say it is pretty good now we got to finish up the pathways here all right now it is time to make our q path which is basically our line and we're gonna make it going this way and then all the way down here there we go hopefully we'll get a lot of people that will be interested in this ride now let's go ahead and and open the ride as well all right wooden coaster and the ride is open for business so people can start lining up okay so we got our wooden coaster built guys i don't think we're gonna build any more coasters to be honest because i mean look at our park it is full of roller coasters i think we need to utilize all this land and build a lot of smaller rides and attractions let's go ahead and do just that we're gonna start with over here in this red roller coaster let's build a ton of different small rides all right guys we are working into the night here we have the section of intense rides tons of small little rides like this one and this one and this giant swing now we are going to fill this entire area with every single one of these rides this is going to be a ton of fun let's start off with the first one the drop tower we'll place it right about there there we go here is our exit and then our entrance right there next ride we got is space rings so we'll go ahead and do our entrance side uh, let's do it right about 
here and then we'll do an exit right here okay so i need to start marking all these spots so i can know where the entrances are are and where the exits are so this is an exit right here and this will go back to the main path and this path will be two bricks wide and the sun is coming out again let's go we're gonna make this path go in kind of like a square basically we're gonna go all the way back around to here there we go this looks good now we're just gonna line up tons of rides along this path and we'll probably do concession stands in the middle or maybe over there our next intense ride is the twister let's go ahead and place this bad boy right there let's go ahead and just place all these rides and then we can work on getting all the entrances and exits and and figuring all that out. This one's pretty cool as well. This one is a big swinging boy. Our next one is the topple tower. This one is huge. Oh my gosh, this one might have to go in the middle. Uh, will it fit in the middle? Okay, cool, it fits in the middle. The Gravitron, this thing sounds pretty sick as well. We'll throw this one over here in the corner. The Enterprise, oh my gosh, all these rides are so massive. All right, can we rotate this one and can we put it right here? That seems about good for it. Looks like we can fit the fireball right here. So we're gonna put that right here. Oh my gosh, this place is starting to look sick. Wait till we get all the paths and wait till we put trees in here and make it look all nice. This is just the super bare minimum that I'm doing right now. Literally just placing the rides. All right, next we got the launch tower. I feel like this could fit here. Then we got the rocking disc. Didn't we already place one of these? Oh no, that was the swinging ship. There's just so many rides. All right, we're gonna place this one right there. Now we got the top spin. In. So let's go ahead and place down the top spin. We'll place that right about there. And I think we got just one more ride to place, which is the swing ride. Oh my gosh, this thing is also massive as well. We'll place this one right about there. We also need to find a place to put all of the concession stands. So I, I will work on that. Do not worry. Now we need to build all of our paths. These are basically the paths that allow the people to stand in line and wait for the ride. As I go through here, I will also be opening all the rides after I build the entrances and the exits. So no worries. All of these rides will be open. This one is now open for service. Oh, we got our first customer coming in oh another one as well we got some people that are making their way over here this is literally a whole new massive section of the park that just opened all right we have our entrance there we have our exit there open this ride as well go ahead and get our queue path set up as well there we go beautiful now i'm just going through and making sure all the paths connect so no one gets like trapped on a ride or anything or has to walk across the grass this section i haven't i haven't even done yet i need to make an an entire path section for this right here. There we go. So just laying out the path. Now after this, we're gonna focus on the small details like the lighting. As you can see, it's kind of dark over here, but people are starting to flow in, which is good. And hopefully they are enjoying the ride. On a lot of these empty spaces right here, and especially right here, we're gonna start throwing up a ton of concession stands because there's a lot of people over here, but there's no bathroom, there's no food. There's like three trash cans. So this place is gonna get messy and people are gonna get angry when they wanna sit down. So let's go ahead and pull up some stalls. First, we'll start off with a restroom because that is pretty important and we will throw a restroom just at the beginning right about there we'll actually put two of them there and then let's start with some consumption stalls so we'll do soft drinks we'll do pizza we'll do ice cream fries a slushy stand hot drinks candy and popcorn and then we'll have a burger stand right over here and a refreshing fruit stand right over here oh i'm stuck in the fruit what the flip just happened why am i stuck in the fruit hold on delete this thing oh my gosh i just got stuck in a fruit stand that is a first i've never been stuck in a fruit stand before all right there we go refreshing fruit stand that i am not stuck in okay there we go so this is nice so this basically adds a little bit of an area where people can come eat and kind of hang out now we need to focus on lights lights of course are very important so people can see where they are going so we're gonna start placing some lights down right here we'll place whoa another one right there another one right next to the bathroom right here there another one right here there we go look at this area it is starting to look pretty nice i'm not gonna lie we're getting all the lights set up lights camera action this is looking sweet this new oh wait that guy's stuck right there see that's what i meant by building all the paths because this guy 
It's stuck right here and I pushed that lamp in the wrong spot. But look at this poor little guy over here. He is stuck. He cannot walk across the grass for whatever reason. There we go. Look, now I can build him the path. Now we can walk across. I'm sorry. Wait, did you just give me a C minus? He just gave me a C minus on the ride. It's probably because he got stuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's focus on some decorations. So we are going to place some trees. Trees are always nice. People like trees. They always kind of decorate the area, make it look a little calming and whatnot. So we'll just place some random trees here and there. Another tree right here. Now we don't want to do too many trees. We don't want to like block the rides or anything. Another tree like back over here. Another tree like back over here. That would be nice. Maybe another one. We'll throw a couple over here. Make a little forest. There we go. Some trees for the decoration. This area is starting to look nice, but it just needs some more stuff to it. I think some nice wooden fencing to this area would also look really, really good. I know it's going to take a lot of time and money to do this, but this would look really, really nice. It would just kind of close the area in and give it a nice vibe to it. Oh yeah, I like that already. That just looks so cool. So people aren't walking on the grass, getting out of the area where they're not supposed to be in. Yeah, this looks very nice. I really like this and I really don't want to paint every single one of these. So I'm just going to leave them the color that they are, but I think they look good. This area is starting to look really good. It is attracting a lot more people, guys. We have 136 people in the park right now. That is insane. All right, so we are just doing fences on every single section just making sure the park looks super super nice we got all the fences in i am loving the look of the fences now when you're down here you can't really see over the fences like too too much so i think it'd be really nice if uh behind all the fences we just put bushes i think that would look really really good yeah there we go this looks nice i want to try a couple different types of bushes oh we like these circular ones Ooh. okay there we go so this is just adding a little bit more character so that way when you see beyond the lines you can kind of see like bushes and they you know there's something behind there it's not just empty finishing out this area a little bit more and guys let me tell you it looks so so good with all the greenery look at this it looks like we're in some sort of like forest or something there's all these trees everywhere there's bushes it looks so so good i will say there's a lot more people in our park after we built this area we have now have 143 people and last night i think we had 150 people in the park i mean this section is is just looking phenomenal now i want to keep expanding it that way because well the more rides we build the more area we have the more people we're gonna bring into the park now guys let me know in the comment section below what should i build next in my theme park should i try to go for another roller coaster should i do more water rides or should i build more areas like this with just a bunch of small rides so thank you guys so much for watching this video but this is my theme park i think it is turning out so well we currently have 145 people at the park having a good old time thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.